issues as usual. Can't see myself. Ooh, why is it so blurry? It's very grainy. I guess this is how it's gonna be. Alright, anyway, hi. My name's Amanda. My tangled suits. Cincy. So I just, it's really distracting me because I don't know if it's showing up for y'all, but for me it's like really, really grainy and blurry. I'm trying to figure out why. It's not showing me anything. And but hopefully you can hear me. Alright, well I'm just going to go with it and hope it's not too horrible. Anyway, once again, hi, I'm Amanda. Um, I saw Cynthia through my site, my Tangled Scents. Um, I got my most recent monthly subscription box. I get um, my Scentsy Club every month. I get try to switch it up and get different scents and products. And then I also get a whiff box every month. And they should both be in here. Which, apparently this got delivered last night at some point, and I just never saw it out there, so it sat out there all night and all this morning. But I'm going to open it now for y'all. You can see all the goodies I got. I should have probably already opened this before I went live. I thought I'd take a break from taking... A... I'm supposed to be doing homework. I finally realized I had an assignment due yesterday that I forgot about. So I was coming in here to start on my homework when I realized, hey, I have a Scentsy box I can open because I am the queen of procrastinating. Alright. Packing the slip magical amount of paper that can put in one of these boxes. Mind blowing. Alright, so we have goodies. So, new for me this month, I bought some Sunkiss Citrus Bathroom Cleaner. Yeah, this is so super grainy. So, I already used the Counter Clean and the um, Cleaner Concentrate and the Sunkiss Citrus, which is like my favorite cleaning scent, but I wanted to try the bathroom cleaner, see if it cleans any different than the other ones, because it's really hard for me to suggest buying it if I don't know how well it works. I love the counter clean and I love the concentrate, so I'm sure I'm going to love this too. Another thing new for me this month is I got some of the Winterberry Apple Tea Fragrance Room Spray. Now, if you know me, you know I love the room spray. I use it every day. Um, I'm like just addicted. I don't know. It's not healthy probably for me to be this addicted to a product. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I hadn't smelled the winterberry apple tea. And it is really nice. I want to describe it for people. <laughs> My sinuses are so messed up. I'm kind of scared. Let me see. I'm going to go read the description. If I can find it. I should have had all this prepared. I'm very fly by the seat of my pants kind of person, I guess. I'm not the most spontaneous person in the world, but I get these urges to do stuff, and I do it. And my urge today was to unbox this on a Facebook Live. I really should have set up everything first. Winterberry Apple Tea Room Spray. Description. Winter tea cozies up to cranberry, apple, and honey. 
I'm not sure what the winter tea is supposed to smell like, but I do smell like that sweet kind of apple. Maybe the cranberry a little bit. I keep wanting to say I smell like some kind of spice, but it doesn't mention a spice. But I find it very, it's quite yummy smelling. Very apple. So yes, you can get it in the scent circle, the scentsy bar, the room spray, the scent pack, the scentsy soak, the sugar scrub, the, um, the scentsy pod twin pack, and it comes in the holiday hand soap bundle, which is currently out of stock, it looks like. Um, I think I'll make some samples of the room spray and send some out Monday if anybody's wanting any. I have a couple people I need to send some packs out to, so I'm going to put that in. Alright, next up. Pardon my messy, messy room. Let's see. I have in my Scentsy Club my ghostly greetings because this is like one of my absolute favorite scents and I put it in my club so I can keep getting it even after if they stop making it because I'm, I'm in love with that. That is like I guess my ultimate favorite scent. I love the room spray. I love the wax. I want to just have it going year round but I try to switch them out in my warmer so I don't get burnt out on the scent. I have the Mandalorian. Another one, always get my bar type thing. I don't warm this that often, but I really enjoy the smell. I don't even know how to describe it. Cloudberry Dreams, another one of my favorites. It's just so, it's so sweet. And like a soft scent. Very feminine to me. Which, I don't know if scents are feminine. But that's just what it comes off to, comes off as for me. It's just a soft feminine scent. The description is sweet raspberry and a whisper of rose soar through billowy bursts of peach and vanilla. And it's just, I love it, my daughter loves it. I think everybody that I've sent samples to say they really like that one, the Cloudberry Dream. See, next up I got another one of my, I say favorites a lot. I have way too many favorites probably, but I try to cycle through them. Um, the Cozy Cardigan. Once again, to me it's a feminine, not a real strong flavor, or flavor, fragrance. Um, I have that in this, the soak also. Black soak. Do I have it in something else? I don't think so. I like to send samples of that because I always feel like people are going to love it. And I have that monthly coming in, so even if for some reason they decide to stop making it, I will keep getting it. This description is... Feels like a night in find bedded bliss in layers of soft suede, blushing rose, and amber silk. Apparently I'm just liking the ones that have rose in them. I'm still not sure what amber smells like, but it just, it always makes me think of what the name is, Cozy Cardigan. It makes me imagine just sitting, like, in a big comfy chair wrapped up in my cardigan. Maybe that little hint of, like, perfume left on it. Again, to me, it's like a feminine scent. And then, I also have, coming in monthly, Jack's Obsession and Halloween Town. No special reason for these except for I love A Nightmare Before Christmas. I was already getting, I think, Halloween Town and I just added Jack's Obsession because fear of missing out, people. FOMO. Hi, Stacy. I'm just enjoying my new scents. I've been getting, I'm starting to get in my club. I cannot speak today. Oh, since you're watching, is it really grainy for you or is it just for me? Because it's like really blurry and grainy. 
I can't tell if if you can see me, if you can hear me. I was a little crazy. Hi Alexander. How are you doing? Learning Japanese, right? How are you doing with that? I'm still working on my Korean. Annyeonghaseyo. silence while I wait to see a comment pop up. Um, another thing I got new for me this month is I got some of the fragrance mist. I've been wanting to try this for a while and I hadn't yet and I of course I got it in the cozy cardigan scent because you know I'm addicted. And for me it's just one of my favorite scents. I really hope y'all can see me and hear me. I mean, it shows my mic on. I'm trying to strain myself in the face. Okay. Oh, I really like that. What I, I I'm starting to see in some of these things smell slightly different when you're warming them or when they're in the, the soak just slightly but for the cozy cardigan for me it smells exactly the same in the soak and in the wax and in the, the body the what's it called fragrance mist so I really appreciate that hmm. I'm still not getting an answer on whether you can see me or not pardon my awkward silence So, if you don't know about Scentsy Club, okay, good. If you don't know about Scentsy Club, um, you can do it monthly, bi-monthly, I think even every three months. Let me see if I can find information on it, Scentsy Club. I do mine monthly. You can skip months. I don't know why I can't skip today. Um, you can have multiple going, so you can get some monthly, some bi-monthly, quarterly. Um, basically, you just add stuff in. After you hit a certain amount, I think it's $30, you get 10% off of your entire order. After you hit $60, then you get a half-off item, which is what I do with my whip box. Because the whiff box is usually 30 and I get it for 15 which if you've ever seen me open one of these or anybody open one of these or looked into them they're $30 but you usually get I mean you always get more than $30 worth of product in it it's always a surprise you never know what you're gonna get I mean if you really want to know you can watch for other people to open theirs and see what they got but I think they differ maybe from region to region Maybe from box to box, I'm not even sure. Let's see, it always comes with this little paper insert. Sometimes they're crafts. This one are 3D tree gift boxes. You cut and fold them to make cute little gift boxes. <coughs> Pardon me. It says, if you're not already in the holiday spirit, we're here to help. Your November whiff box is a holiday fragrance fantasy featuring an assortment of fun seasonal scents. The enclosed goodies are sure to make your home a little merrier this year. And we all need that this year, I, I believe, because it has not been the greatest year for anybody, I don't think. Alright, so, first off, got some waxes. Got the jeweled pomegranate, which is December's scent of the month, I believe. I really like it. I sent out some samples. 
Mm, it's just pretty. It's a nice, pleasant, fruity scent. Then I got some Best in Snow. Is it minty? Let me look it up because, like I said, I am bad with description and my sinuses are really messed up. So I don't know if I'm smelling everything the way it should be smelled. Best in Snow. I'm taking allergy pills every day and I feel like after a while they just stop working. So then I have to switch out, take allergy pill in the morning and a nasal spray at night and I still can't breathe. Frosted Evergreen, Cool Mint, and a Breath of Pure Icy Air, which I still don't know how they come up with something that smells like air, but I really like it. It makes me think of almost like Lifesaver Mints or um, like a chewing gum, but not, not overwhelmingly so. It's like a, yeah, it's a minty evergreen. It kind of makes me want to chew gum. I don't think I've worn that yet. I had the scratch and sniffs and stuff, but I don't can't remember if I've had any of the best in snow before. So I might have to warm that and see what it smells like in the warmer. But I really like it. And I think it's going to be really nice closer to Christmas. Get the tree up and have that warming in the back. and. Oh, I also got Dancing Sugar Plums. I didn't realize this was down in there. Now, this is one I really like, too. It's a spicy one. Let's see. Because Best in Snow's under the um, fresh scents. And I'm pretty sure the Jeweled Pomegranate is just under fruit. And then the Dancing Sugar Plums, I believe, is under the spice. Sugar. Yeah, rich spice plum falls right in step with visions of vanilla and sweet cinnamon apple. So if you don't like cinnamon, you might not like it, but it's... I like that plum. I'm not really getting the vanilla, but I'm not warming it, so it might come out when you're warming it. But I'm getting kind of a hint of the apple. I was thinking it was just the fruit, the plum that I was feeling, but kind of an apple plum with that cinnamon, that nice spicy... Not overwhelming spice. I use overwhelming a lot, but it's not overpoweringly cinnamony. It just gives it that nice spiced scent. All right, what else did I get? I got Arctic Kiss. I'm starting to question which. Maybe the little pomegranate's November scent of the month, and then the Arctic Kiss is December scent of the month. I think I had them wrong on that. I could do this the easy way. So Jewel Pomegranate is November scent of the month and Arctic Kiss is December scent of the month. Look at me knowing where to look. Sometimes I feel like an idiot. That is okay. In my whiff box I also got uh, Amazon Rain Sit and Soft Sample and an Amazon Rain Laundry Liquid Sample. I got a Snow Kissed Cranberry Car Bar. I haven't used a car bar yet. I have the little tin, the travel tin, um, in Weathered Leather. But I might have to switch it out for this. I have just that nice, um, pretty holiday kind of scent going in the car. After Thanksgiving. Now I'll keep my weathered leather. And last but not least, I'm kind of excited about this actually. I got some Scentsy Soap and the Winter Berry Apple Tea. If you haven't tried the Scentsy Soap, I would recommend it if you like to take nice relaxing bath or if you like use like a foot soak or like to soak your hands a little bit. Let's see, it says, infuse your bath with authentic scentsy fragrance and moisturizing ingredients. Well, Epsom and pink Himalayan salt soothe tired, achy muscles and help you relax. And I already, you know, tried the scent 
with the room spray, so I know I like that. So I'll probably be making samples of this too. Because I make samples of the cozy cardigan often to send out. So I might switch it out for these for my next sample pack. So if anybody's needing samples of the Winterberry Apple Tea room spray or soak, let me know. And then any of the waxes that I mentioned, I'm happy to make samples and send out. Dancing Sugar Plums, Best in Snow, Jill Pomegranate, Jack's Obsession, The Halloween Town, Cozy Cardigan, Cloudberry Dreams, The Mandalorian, Ghostly Greeting. I mean, I have a ton of other waxes I can make samples out of. Just, <coughs> pardon me. If there's anything you're wanting to sample, let me know. Um, I'll see if I can get some out for you. If I don't have the wax, I might have the stickers. I don't have, you know, the wax, I might have the room spray, vice versa. I try to keep a little bit of everything on hand. Um, let's see. So, Scentsy Club with Box. Um, if you haven't, check out my unboxing of the... Oh, I'm glad you like it. Um, I... I still haven't warmed it, I don't think. Maybe when I made some samples? I know I like this, the, the scent quite a bit. I like, you know me, I, I love the room spray, so I try to get all the good scents in the room sprays and keep those on hand. Because, I don't know, I'm lazy. <laughs> I like to just keep the same scent in my warmer, like, and just keep adding cubes, you know, clean it out and add the same cube over and over. Instead of having to switch it out. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm just lazy. I procrastinate a lot. I know I should try all my scents. But I like to have them on hand and just sniff them. And then I like to have my room spray to just make my... I'm just super excited about this. I'm all over the place today. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway. I don't think I can sample out... The body sprays, can I? Isn't that against something? Some kind of guidelines or regulation? I sample out the room sprays, though. The only thing I know for sure about fragrances and stuff is they don't fly, so I can't send them anywhere. They have to go by plane. I found that out recently. Because, like, the room sprays, whenever I do samples of those, I have to make sure they know they're in there because they're no-fly on the no-fly list. So I might see if I can do samples of... The fragrance mist also. Because it's still, I mean, it'd be the same little spray bottles I use. Stacy, did, did I send you spray bottles? Did they arrive okay and work okay? Because I'm scared they're going to get crushed. Because they're just little bitty plastic bottles. Alright, back on track. If you haven't checked out my unboxing of the December... Um, warmer of the month and scent of the month because I am in love with the warmer. It might be my favorite warmer. I say that I think every month and I do. I love my my little haunted house when I have. I love my is it back there? My little Christmas barn thingy. I have my lantern. You know I love all the ones I've got so far but there's just something about the December warmer of the month. And then leaked all over everything else. Oh, I'm sorry. So I try to put them in there, try to make sure they're closed good, and then I put them in a little zippy bag too. Maybe start wrapping them in bubble wrap? Do you think that would help? Like, wrap it in a little bit of bubble wrap, put it in there, then zip it, and then maybe wrap it in bubble wrap too? Or is that overkill? I don't know, well, I'll figure out something. A lot of stuff doesn't travel far. I have a lot of local people, so I wonder if distance affects it too, because I think you're one of the few people I send that it travels that far that I send any samples to. But yes, the pol Polar Panorama, the December's Warmer of the Month. If you haven't seen my video, I created a video where I unboxed it and I also made a little TikTok that I shared, just, you know, added music to it basically. Because it changes collars. Wow, this whole backwards camera thing. It changes collars. It's like blue and purple and pinks. and It's so, like, relaxing. 
I just want to have it plugged in in my bedroom forever, I think. I haven't even used it to warm anything yet. That might work. I hope so. It was just one of How many did I send you? I'm wondering if maybe I just got a faulty one or one I didn't... Because you have to really click them. Put a lot of pressure on them to make sure they click close good. Because the first few I made... If you want that one, we can't... It was a little pricier than I thought, the December one. But, you know, I get the, um, the warmer of the month box, so, you know, I pay a little more because I get all the waxes, too. So, yeah, for December, it's going to be fifty-eight fifty for the warmer. You should, like, maybe hint around to people that that would make a great Christmas present. <laughs> If everybody, you know, want to give you a present, just like gives you five dollars towards it instead, then you'd have enough money for it, and that could be Christmas. Using the noggin, <laughs> I need to do that for some stuff. Actually, I have got I spend so much on this, and it, it brings me so much happiness. But I'm like, maybe I should like start just telling, hey, this is what I want for my birthday, and hey, this is what I want for Christmas. Let's see. I talked about Scentsy Club, I talked about the Whiff Box, I talked about next month's Warmer of the Month. This month's Warmer of the Month is really great, I mean, it is so cute, so stinking cute. Country Christmas. I have it in the back, but everything's blurry. I have a video also of this with the lights on, and I wish the little bitty Christmas lights came on too. It's just so stinking cute. And I don't usually like the country stuff, but I really like that. I don't think I've gotten a warmer from Scentsy yet that I didn't just absolutely love. I think every one, every month, it's my new favorite. I'm just going to have them displayed, I think, everywhere. And just maybe switch out which ones I use, depending on... Oh no! Is it still going? Am I still here? It shows that I have audio. It's probably because I'm trying to live stream and then Serenity's upstairs doing her her um, schooling. What's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, you know, live. She's in a live class in Google Classroom or whatever, so it's probably just we're eating up all the bandwidth. So I better cut this off. Um, thank you for watching. I love that you're... <laughs> I think Stacey, I think you're the one, only one that ever actually just like pops in when I'm live and, and watches the whole thing. Um, so thank you. I appreciate it. That way I don't feel like I'm just talking to myself the whole time. Which, anybody that knows me knows that I can talk forever, so talking to myself is not even a big issue. So thank you for watching. Um, make sure you check out my site, my Tangled Sense. I'll drop a, a link in the comments. Um, I have it posted everywhere. I also have a Facebook group, my Tangled Sense. I have a VIP group for the people who order from me. Um, is there any interest in a craft theme box? Because I do have the supplies to make some little bead wreaths, wreath ornaments, but I haven't seen a lot of interest in something like that, so I've been afraid to post. So I thought, would anybody be interested in that? Basically, I mean, you're not buying the crafts, you're not buying, you're just, you'd be buying, like, wax or a fragrance flower or something. And then whenever I ship it to you, I'll just send you a little craft kit. And then we can do, like, a live or a Zoom or something and make them together. Because it's just, like, a little, little fun thing to do together. I don't know. If there's any interest, let me know. Um... Check out the warmers. Check out the new scents. We have new stuff coming out all the time that is so cute. I just want to decorate my whole house in Scentsy for Christmas with their warmers and just, ah, oh, they're so cute. Alright, so I'm going to leave because I don't know if there's even any audio. I might just be talking to my screen now. So thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye.